Hi, my name is Brian Otot. I'm superintendent of the Paulding County School District. I'd like to take this opportunity on behalf of the Paulding County School District and our Board of Education to thank the Paulding County Education Foundation for all that they do to support our students and staff. As you are aware, the Paulding County Education Foundation supports our students through scholarships and programming, but they do the same thing for our staff, giving them an opportunity to submit grants each year that will help support classroom initiatives at local schools. Um, one of the things that we are able to do through our foundation and our sponsors is offer a Teacher of the Year celebration. It's been an annual event here in Paulding County. And while we're not going to be able to share a meal together this year, we do want to continue that effort of acknowledging our teachers and employees of the year through a special video that we'll be sharing with you shortly. Videos like this and events like this can't be done without the support of sponsors. And I would like to take an opportunity to thank Chick-fil-A of Hiram and Dallas, Greystone Power, and Members First Credit Union for their support of the school district and the foundation in this project. I would be remiss if I didn't say thank you to all of our 3,600 employees. This has been a year like none other, and you have done everything within your power to continue our vision, to prepare all students for success today and tomorrow, and our mission to engage, inspire, and prepare. Whether that through a Zoom conference, through Canvas, or all the many other means that you've been working hard to connect with our students and our staff, I sincerely appreciate all of your efforts. So once again, on behalf of our Board of Education, and the Paulding County School District. I'd like to congratulate each of our teachers of the year, our employees of the year, and thank all of our employees for their support of our 30,500 students. Thank you and we hope you enjoy this video. I'd like to take this opportunity to say thanks to not only our teachers of the year and employees of the year, but all of our staff here at Paulding County School District as they work hard to make sure that what we have and what we do is of excellence every day. I encourage you to not only share this, as Dr. Otot said, through social media, but also as you drive through the neighborhoods and you see yard signs out in those yards of those employees of the year and teachers of the year, but give them support. Let them know that you're thankful for what they do. Also, be on the lookout for our magazine articles in Our Town Magazine and Paulding News and Views, as it'll give you a little bit more information about each one of these special individuals. Thanks to our sponsors, Greystone Power, Chick-fil-A of Dallas and Hiram, and our presenting sponsor, Members First Credit Union, for not only sponsoring this event and this celebration, but many that we do throughout the year. Without them, these could not be possible. So school district, staff, and community, we thank you for all that you do and the support that you give not only our students for today, but for tomorrow and their impact in their future. Thank you very much. Teaching means meeting each child where they are. Every single child has a strength and a challenge in their life. And as teachers, we really need to figure it out and see what that child needs in order to be successful. We really have a bond that cannot be broken. We are there for each other. The students know that we are a team and we function as one team. So I think that teaching means establishing relationships, is really just seeing the kids explore, learn, and come into their true selves. I love my students. Um, I love seeing them at recess uh, playing teacher and saying some of the things that they, uh, they have heard me say and just kind of excited to be that teacher and to teach their other classmates. Um, and I do really truly consider my co colleagues like my work family. I consider them my family. My students are my family. Their parents are my family. Um, I truly see it as that, that we are just this one big family and our common goal is the success of these students. That really, that brings a lot of joy to my heart to know that we're all one big family supporting these students to be the best they can be and I love that. It's, it's just an awesome thing. I'm a sixth grade math teacher and math can be intimidating to pretty much anybody at times. I find joy every single day with my students in my class. We celebrate our achievements together and we celebrate challenges together and we truly are in the battlefield together um, every single day. 
That's what keeps me researching new ways to teach math. It keeps me pursuing professional development, even in my own personal time. So the students every single day give me joy. I have always had a passion for helping others, even at a very young age. Ever since fourth grade, my what I want to be when I grow up answer turned from a dolphin trainer to a teacher. Teaching to me means making a difference, not only in my students' lives, but in my community, my country, and in my world. I love that my students and I are a team, and even more, we are a family, just trying to better ourselves and the world in which we live. That is my greatest joy when it comes to being a teacher. The biggest compliment to me from a child is when they slip up and call me mom. When a child is that comfortable in my classroom, I know my environment is a place where they want to be. The biggest joy I get in teaching is when I can walk around the room as a facilitator. I love to watch first graders take charge of their own learning. I also love watching them grow academically. First grade's a huge growing year. It's very rewarding to watch their gains in reading and writing. I often have children that cannot construct a sentence at the beginning of the year, and by the end of the year, they're writing stories. It's pretty amazing. I chose teaching as a profession because I wanted to not only be able to educate children, but also to provide them inspiration and motivation so that they want to become lifelong learners. I believe that teaching is not just about academics. It's about teaching the whole child. So I'm meeting their needs socially and emotionally first so that that way they're feeling confident about being able to succeed in their learning. The greatest joy in teaching for me is when these students realize that they are part of a family in our classroom, knowing that we were a part of that and we were the beginning of that. I was inspired to become a teacher when I was working with my son's Cub Scout troop. Part of my responsibility was to come up with a lesson every week, and I just enjoyed that so much, I decided to go back and get my master's degree in teaching. Teaching personally means making a difference in students' lives so they can make a difference in the community, in society, and the world. And the thing that gives me the greatest joy is when a student who has been particularly struggling with a concept understands it and it motivates them to keep learning. There's nothing that can compare to that feeling. As a young girl, I'd always dreamed about becoming a teacher. My teachers that I had taught me to love learning. Each day I wake up excited to get to school and help our young students reach their potential through fostering a love of learning. Teaching to me means building relationships with students to teach them not only content material, but life skills. I also believe in making a difference in all students and helping them succeed beyond. The smiles of the children bring me joy. The moment when a child gets something for the first time makes teaching worth it. Teaching to me is all about relationships and repertoire. Um, it's not always just about the content, though content is a big important part of teaching. Um, getting to know your students more than surface level is important so that you can be that positive influence in their life um, and drive them to su succeed across all areas, not just in your particular classroom. My greatest joy in teaching comes from watching these little emotional uh, teenagers grow to become productive and happy young adults. It's my absolute joy to know that I've been at least one little um, part of their no doubt interesting life story. I've never not wanted to be a teacher. As a child, I would teach my dolls under my swing set. I began teaching in kindergarten and through the years have taught every grade up through uh, sixth grade now in special ed, which is right now my favorite, but that could change as well. It is a part of who I am. 
It is my identity. It is what God has put me on earth to do. It is my mission field. I want students to know there is someone in their corner at all times. I want them to know that when they are with me, they are the most important person in my world. Being a teacher is not just a title, it's who I am. My greatest joy is watching these students mature from the day one of when they enter my classroom. Um, I have the unique ability of teaching middle school. So I have them for sixth, seventh, and eighth, and many of my kids I get for four years. I love watching them grow and learn their interest and watching them succeed both academically and personally. I've been blessed that I've been able to go watch my kids cheer and play basketball and tennis. And again, I coach swimming, so I get to watch them grow in that high school setting as well. I have the best team at Herschel Jones, not just on my hallway, but in the building. I just always loved kids. I always wanted to um, teach. I thought that that would be the perfect profession for me. My grandmother was a teacher for over 30 years, an elementary teacher, and I just honestly never considered any other career. The greatest joy that I get from teaching is just building those relationships with my kids. I love um, keeping in touch with them. I have kids who are grown and married and have kids of their own now. I love um, just throughout the year seeing the difference from August all the way till May, um, sending them off to the next grade and knowing that they're ready. Building those relationships to me is the best part about teaching. Teaching is not just a career for me, it's my purpose. I truly believe that in the classroom and the classroom that I'm in is where God wants me and that's where I make a difference. I love when we get students who um, are have struggled in other classes or have low Lexile scores or just really have feel like they can't do something um, and they excel. Um, whether it's writing the perfect short answer or doing awesome at a review game or them being able to look at a political cartoon and tell you what all it means or even an EOC score when they get it back. I love that moment where they see their potential. Teaching personally means really connecting with students and helping them to see themselves as creative individuals. One of the many things that brings me joy as an art teacher is when students make that connection between what happens in the art room at school and what happens outside of the art room. Whenever students bring me something or wanna talk about something that, that they have done or they have learned, then I'm always eager to, to let them share, to let them talk about it so that they can show other students they become the teacher. It's my kids that bring me joy in teaching. It's not tests, it's not scores, it's their faces, it's their excitement. My very favorite part is um, my handshakes that I have with all of my kids um, and they kind of come up with them themselves. So I got two for you. This one's Emily's. That's one. And then I got another one. Those are my favorite things about being a teacher. And it's not the handshake themselves, it's what they mean. It's that I have a relationship with each of my kids and I hope that they know it. And that's the goal I have for them. Teaching has taught me empathy, compassion, and the continuous pursuit of new knowledge so that I can be better equipped for the constant changes that are part of my profession. I love every aspect of teaching. I love the highs and the lows. I love the students and their families. I love my co-workers, and I love that I have an opportunity for ongoing professional learning. I get great joy when I see students start to believe in themselves, when I see the excitement on a student's face because they have accomplished something that they didn't think was going to be possible. And I am super excited to know that soon we will all be back together, and that gives me the greatest joy of all.
Teaching to me is a passion. It's a calling. It's not just a job. I tell my kids I get to come in every day and do exactly what I love. I love to hear them say, Miss Brewer, I don't need you. I got this. Uh, you can go help someone else. We work together. It's not just one individual. It takes a whole class. And uh, it just, that is the best part of my job is just to watch their faces light up when they, they know they have it and they know they are that smart and they've opened doors for themselves that allow them to have choices. I became a teacher because I love to learn. The thing that gives me the greatest joy in teaching, one is my kids. Just to be around them every day brings me so much joy. They teach me so much stuff every day. And then also being around my other teachers, being able to to get with a team of people that have the same goal that you have and have the same passion and love for their students too. It's just, it's, it's exhilarating and it makes you wanna be a better teacher. So those are the two things that mean the most to me. I wanted to follow in my mother's footsteps. She was an educator for Paulding County Schools for 30 years. And I got to see every day the passion and the love she had for her job. I'm a kindergarten teacher, but it doesn't matter the age. You're setting a foundation for this person's educational career. And as a teacher, we all know that your educational career doesn't stop when you graduate. As a kindergarten teacher, I get to watch these children grow. I get to watch their education journeys take off and to know that I, I was a part of that. That's what brings me the most joy as an educator. I get to make kids excited. I get to teach like one of the coolest subjects. I teach chemistry at North Paulding. I get to show them why it's important. At the end of the day, if I can teach them how to be inquisitive, how to remain curious, how to embrace failure and learn from it, then I feel like I've done my job and that's really what it means to me to be a teacher. I love going there, working with them every day, seeing how excited they get when they do any kind of experiment, any kind of lab that we have going on. You know, that is my biggest joy, my relationship with the kids and seeing how much they've really just love learning science. I have always wanted to be a teacher from the time I was in second grade is my first memory knowing that I wanted to teach specifically um, special education. And I find a lot of joy in showing kids that they are important, that they are worth something, that they matter, that they are a big deal, um, you know, and I do it a lot of different ways, but to see kids kind of have that aha moment or to see a person have that aha moment that, man, like I, I matter, I'm important, I, you know, I mean something. I want to make a difference and I want kids to know that they matter and they're important. Teaching to me means being a role model being the model that you want your students to see and for me that's becoming a lifelong learner. The other thing for me that brings me joy is the aha moments for my students and there's nothing that brings me more joy than to see those students have those aha moments because as a lifelong learner I have those aha moments and it's just such a great joy to see my own students have those aha moments. I chose to become a teacher to inspire and touch the lives of the students I teach in the same way that my teachers going through school inspired me. I love teaching. It's a way to connect to my students and their families and to form bonds that help motivate and empower them to learn throughout their academic career. I love being an EIP teacher because I get to see my kids grow academically in many other ways throughout their journey in elementary school. Many students share their success stories at the end of the school year and years after graduation, 
which I am so appreciative. It is a great aspiration to see students achieve success through sincerity, dedication, commitment, hard work, and continuous improvement of oneself. This is especially true for students who achieve success by overcoming adversity and impossible odds. Each story of success involves students who relentlessly persevere and seek solutions to solving problems, not only in the classroom, but to life in general. Well, teaching to me means making a difference in a child's life. Our job is very hard, it's very demanding, and it pushes us in a lot of ways. But it's also one of the most rewarding jobs out there. I love when my previous students come back and they'll say like, I really miss your class, or Miss Nelson, you were so right about this, or you were wrong about that. And um, they come and they say like, do you remember that song you taught us? Like about the rock cycle or the different branches of the government. And the fact that they remember and they want to come back and keep sharing with me is something that I just love and it really just brings so much happiness to me. Teaching has been my dream for a while now. It's one of the few jobs that I feel like allows you to invest in others for a living. We get paid to build relationships with tiny humans that will run the world in a matter of years. I tell them every year during the first week of school that we that people call us a class, but we're actually a family. I love to make learning fun. I love watching my students grow. I get to invest in them daily. Um, not to mention those students, boy, do they love their elementary school teachers. To me, teaching means to impart knowledge in order to help increase their understanding. For me, the greatest joy in teaching is when a student and the student's family affirm all that I hope to achieve, which is to educate. It becomes a testimony of my purpose in this career to impact and make a difference in other people's lives. Teaching is a gift. Some are born with it, some acquire it through studying or experience. But my greatest joy is to share the gift of teaching in a meaningful and impactful way, always. Everybody's a teacher, from your best friend, to your parents, to your loved ones, to strangers in the street. We can all be taught something at any time of the day. So that's what really intrigued me in teaching, because to me, teaching is just an everyday, every moment thing where we're learning to be better than ourselves, learning to be better mathematicians, uh, geographers, uh, writers, just anything we decide to do. The greatest joy is when a child finally realizes that they can do whatever they put their mind to. It's just the hard work that they have to put in. And once they realize that they can get through that hard work, well, we all know that the world is their oyster. I love to make connections with my students with relationships first and then move to academics because I know that a lot of the students um, all have different things going on in their personal lives and different things that hinder them or that have hurt them or things they've gone through. And so teaching to me is more than learning how to write a sentence or put a paragraph together or reading fluency is to be that constant in your students' lives to know that, they, that you're going to be there and no matter what they're going through, they know they can come into your classroom and feel safe and learn at the same time. So, The greatest joy in teaching is probably the relationships you build. You know, you get a class full of kids and they're yours for 180 days and you worry about them even beyond those 180 days. Worry about how they're doing and what you can do to make them better and then the relationship um, with my co-teachers, I mean, they're phenomenal. You know, I have parapros in my room and special education teachers. It's definitely um, great to work in an environment where there are so many positive relationships. I first went into healthcare because I wanted to help people. And then when my oldest son was 
about eight months old. I had to work on Christmas day. So I decided that I wanted to do something different and still be able to help people. So at that time I went into teaching and here I am 19 years later, um, I'm doing what I love and now I'm able to incorporate healthcare into my teaching career. What gives me the greatest joy in teaching is when I have a lesson that students are so engaged in that they really don't even realize that they're learning, but when they finish the lesson, they come out with so much more knowledge than when they started the lesson. Teaching allows me an opportunity to help, again, people, young people, you know, find out who they are, who they can be. Um, it helps, um, means um, teaching them respect and compassion and how to be better thinkers. That's my goal, being a part of making them a better part of society um, brings me joy and makes my job fulfilling to me. What gives me the greatest joy in teaching? Simply my students. Um, seeing them smile when they do something kind for me or for somebody else. Seeing the pride that they have when they've self-corrected or when they've worked through a challenging problem or challenging situation. Um, them sharing their good times and their bad times with me. Trust Their trust in me that they know that they're unconditionally loved. Um, it's just simply my students, because right now in the situation that we're in, I, I miss my students. I miss being with them every day. So my greatest joy is the joy of my students. This job is one big family, and we spend more time with the people we work with than we do our family sometimes. We're out there working hard, but we do it because we love what we're doing. We love that the kids are happy to see us every day when they come through that line. And some of those kids, we're the only meal they may get that day. This job is not about making the money. It's making sure students are being fed, and that is why I'm there every day. The last thing I want to say is thank you to Karen Mathis and Patsy Lynch. Both of them are great directors and have encouraged me to grow in this field. For that, I will always be grateful to both of them. I feel it is always best to choose a career on what you enjoy and what you are passionate about. The career path I chose was to become an electrician. For me, I enjoy the challenge of troubleshooting and repairing something that is broken. After 15 years of being in the construction field, I was honored in 2012 to become a part of the Paulding County Maintenance Department. Personally, this is an honor, and I'm very thankful and, and humbled to have been selected for this. And I'm thankful for the job that God has blessed me and my family with. I find joy in knowing I have a small part in the education of our children by helping keeping the buildings maintained with the rest of the maintenance department for our students and our staff. I wanted to be a pediatric nurse and work with children, but I wanted to work with them on a daily basis where I got to know them on an individual and personal level. So many children know nurses as the person who gives the shots, so it's nice to give them a different perspective of what another nurse can do. The school nurses as a whole work very hard on a daily basis, and it's always nice to be recognized. These kids become part of my heart and soul. So often people ask me how many kids I have. I say I have one at home, and I have 800 at work. I, did, I don't feel like I chose this job. I feel like the job chose me. I just feel like I was in the right place at the right time. I love doing what I do. I love working with the kids. And I'm so thankful that I was given this opportunity to work with kids um, that need extra help or extra loving or an extra push. It is a great honor to be recognized as the District Support Employee of the Year. The greatest joy I have in my job is working with people to bring technology to the students of Paulding County 
and helping move Paulding County to one of the leaders in technology in the state. This is demonstrated by helping to implement Canvas for our teachers and students to have an online environment to teach and learn and bringing technology in our classrooms farther than it has ever been with new computers and Recordex interactive flat panels. I was looking for a job with flexibility and insurance because while I was running my husband's office, I still wanted to have my own job. I love working with children. I have been driving a school bus for over 25 years and I'm honored to be appreciated for what I do. This recognition means the world to me. This recognition has probably made my career complete. Every day I am blessed to be able to walk into a building and have hundreds of kids come up and give me hugs and um, tell me they love me and, and it's those kids. I can tell you I am probably the luckiest administrator in the world because I have the greatest staff in the world and I could never ever do what I do without their support. The kids and my staff are my why. There's so many great people out there that deserve this award and that it came to me is just very special.